What new hobbies have you picked up this year and would you recommend them to others? I've started keeping a visual journal again. Keeping track of the things I do and see every day gets me off the sofa. I don't want to write sat on Reddit, ate food and worked out every single day. Even if all I do is putter around the garden or go for a walk. At least that generally results in me seeing something new today that I didn't see yesterday. Plus I actively try and notice things instead of just walking obliviously through the same area day after day. Reading or listening to all the books one of your favorite author has written. I finished Kurt Vonnegut and now working on John Irving. Reading Irving's books back to back takes away from his greatness, while it made Vonnegut seem like the greatest of all time. Once upon a time, I had to commute 90 minutes every day by bus. There was a big bookstore nearby where I worked. That's when I did my Vonnegut. Reading fates worse than death after all the fiction was the cherry on top of the sundae. I've been collecting rocks and crystals for a while, but I've finally gotten a tumbler and started polishing them. The end results are cool to see, but the process takes a month or more depending on the type of stone. So if you're a deeply impatient person, or a perfectionist, you have very little control over how the stones turn out and there will be flaws. I don't know if I do recommend it. They're minerals Marie can't really call it a hobby but for the past month since covid started and classes are suspended i enrolled myself in free online classes such as photography editing art etc it's nice to have a little hand off skills and knowledge when the time comes experimenting with cooking following a recipe online that you found is also good but there's just an extra layer of enjoyment and discovery to be had when i try to work things out on my own Especially when ingredients are limited. It's like a puzzle you can eat. The main point to not let not perfect overshadow good enough. You probably aren't gonna be winning any awards with your first few attempts but that doesn't mean what you created isn't special in its own right. When I try a new recipe, I follow it. Then I can figure out ways to make it better. I've been lockpicking. It takes sustained mental focus which has been nice to get the mind off of all that's going in. Plus if the apocalypse comes I'll have a useful skill, which is a bonus. Sewing. I lost my grandma this year and she used to sew and knit a lot. I was given her sewing machine, so I whenever I use it I feel closer to her. My nana liked to sew as well. She's still with us, but has deteriorated eyesight and cannot sew anymore. My nan gave my mum her sewing box, which had heaps of odd cut fabric. Some fabric is older than me. I turned those fabrics into scrunchies. Nan was so excited to see them. She can remember what she made with them. And was so pleased to see the fabric get a new life. Started meditating this year. Almost at 100 days in a row. I would recommend. But I would start easy with just 5 minutes in a session and build your way up over time. Analog photography. Fun to get a cheap camera and. Not really cheap. Film. Send to develop and practice exposing photos. Or buy some B&W films and develop them by yourself in your basement. I started watching Bob Ross The Joy of Painting painting videos. I've followed along to a handful of them, but did it in Photoshop rather than actually paint. His voice is super relaxing and I get into such a state of content and zen. I highly recommend it. It's one of the handful of things that have helped reduce a little of my anxiety this year. I think Bob Ross would have been proud of you taking the initiative to create works of art through such a different medium. Keep on creating my dude, and best of luck with handling your anxiety. Walks, got a problem go for a walk. Got a dog go for a walk. Just ate go for a walk. Just been shot walk it off. Walkies. Crocheting. Same here. Was frustrating at first but the end products look cool. 3D printing. It is insane what you can print with a low budget printer. Mine was $200. You can create your own models pretty easily and if you are too lazy for that you can download cool stuff from Thingiverse. Comes in handy too if you forgot to buy someone a gift. I learned how to solve a Rubik's Cube. My current best time is 50.8s. It's pretty fun to see myself progress and learn new things about it. Gardening. Even just a couple plants. It allows you to visibly see your progress and you learn things when you have questions about your plans. Then if all goes well you get some produce. 
Nothing feels quite like shaking on some peas you grew yourself and see at the grocery store for 5-6 dollars a pack. Good luck. First time here, I have so many freaking tomatoes. It was a mistake. I know better now. I don't need 12 plants and 4 plants of cherry tomatoes. I find people to give them to every day and I'm still overwhelmed. I'll do some canning this weekend. Geocaching. You can do it anywhere. All you need is a phone with decent service. We started doing it with my 8 year old and she loves it. We camp a lot throughout our state but obviously haven't been able to do touristy things this year. This gives us a way to look for new places without being around a lot of people. I mean, I have started doing home exercise a lot more, and I must say that it's totally worth it. I 100% recommend it due to the fact that you get in shape. Get a huge amount of confidence and helps with your mentality about other aspects of your life. Ant keeping tried it for a while with one colony, but found the maintenance too much, although I did really enjoy watching them putter around. Terrarium building freaking amazing, so relaxing and calming. Plus I get to wander off into the woods alone to look for new moss. Magnet fishing tie a big butt near Dimium magnet to a rope, pitch it into the water. Be about people throwing bottle caps in the water. Find usable tools. Call the popo when you pull up a gun. Really fun. And you can get started for pretty cheap. Growing edible plants. Quick growing like lettuce or basil herbs. And baking breads are really satisfying pretty quickly. Meditation is great but it takes a while for it to benefit you. It kind of rewires your brain. Takes time and effort. Sourdough pretzels bro. Easier than bread and saru delicious. Inline skating. Started in March so I could learn how to play hockey and found how much fun it is just to roll around places. It's kept me active throughout all of quarantine and I find it fun with how high the skill ceiling is for it. I've seen people do some pretty slick maneuvers with them especially while playing hockey. It definitely sucked to learn in the beginning but I'm glad I didn't quit. Definitely worth every fall. Cloud watching. Got a book to identify different clouds and it's very relaxing just to sit in the backyard, watch the clouds, learn what they are. Definitely recommend. 1. Writing a journal. You don't have to do it every day and write everything. Just to deal with anxious thoughts. I found it to be therapeutic. We tend to load up too much on our minds. Writing them in a book instead is like dumping them away. 2. Listening to podcasts first thing in the morning serves as a distraction from negative thoughts that make it difficult for you to leave the bed when you wake up. Woodworking. I've made things that I've been able to make a quick buck on. I've also been able to make things I've wanted, like a wooden flag, hat rack, etc. Us. 2. 10 stroke 10 would recommend. Got my 7 year old into it as well. Not really a hobby but I've actually been staying on top of my uni workload instead of doing everything last minuet. It has been nice. Yeah I'm gonna have to learn to do that too. I start uni in about a week. Hum. I picked up reading. It's great to read small bits off internet and it sure is improving my vocabulary quite well. I'm not an English speaker. Could've fooled me. Piano. I know some people have already tried but on my second day of self teaching, I already knew how to play a song. It is really nice once you get into it. You can literally play memes and make your own songs. It's so fun. Started complimenting men. Few things are cuter than a grown man getting tickled pink because you said his favorite hat looked cool, I'm a woman. I learned from another Reddit post that men don't get compliments so I decided to change that. It was hard at first because I'm usually shy but it got gradually easier and now I just point out things on all people that I think are nice and it's become as easy as breathing. You're doing God's work. Dungeons and Dragons. Being the DM helped me build up a bit more of self confidence. Finally forcing myself to stop being very shy, I found that very hindering at times. If you are in a solid relationship, write love letters for to your spouse. I'm not very good at expressing my love for my husband on a day to day basis, so this year, for our anniversary, I'm gifting him 12 love letters different prompts like, when we first met, you are remarkable because, what I love about us, etc, that he can open whenever he wants, and I'm like, spilling my soul into these letters. 
I don't think he has ever seen that side of me, and I'm kind of excited to see how he reacts to how much love I have for him. Anyway, I think I'm going to do something like this every year. Different prompts, obviously, but I want him to always know how I feel about him. Uh, this is incredibly sweet, I love it. Making maps. I was looking at a map on our imaginary maps and I commented an idea I had. They told me to try to make it myself. I did, and have made about 15 maps since then. I love making random fictional maps. Small bits of gardening. It's nice to be able to feel like you are sustaining something, especially when you can so visibly see the growth of it all. It makes me feel like I have an obligation to help it grow since it actually depends on me. Taking care of plants. Some might die at first, especially if you're starting from absolute zero, but it's not that hard and seeing them thrive puts a smile on my face. I started this at the beginning of quarantine. Please do not follow my mistake and forget to quarantine your plants. I had to unfortunately toss out half my collection after a bad spider mite infestation. I still am battling it but all the plants that have it, are quarantined in their own rooms. Take it slow if you want to pick up this hobby. Running a mile every day after getting faded. For some reason, exercise has never independently been able to activate my endorphins. But it works fine after I have some THC in me. It's done wonders. I lost 5 pounds in a week or two and I'm not even overweight. I love running and I love being high. Why have I not thought of this before? I finally started lifting and walking running. I walk about 5-10 miles a day and have started lifting at home. Down about 40 pounds and finally at my normal weight for my height and also notice my arms getting bigger. Definitely feels good. Scotch tasting. I've always been a fan of scotch but recently started learning more about the process and about the distilleries that make each one distinct. I would totally recommend it to people that can handle whiskey. Along with this, I've really gotten into smoking meat and look for any excuse to smoke or grill something. I've even made food for friends in quarantine and dropped it off at their door just for the chance of making the food. Smokers can be expensive or cheap depending on brand and model, but I'd recommend buying an expensive brand or model from Facebook Marketplace or OfferUp. Those hold up well between owners and you'll be able to get a good quality smoke for about half the price in some cases. As a Scotsman who worked in a barbecue joint you so are doing God's work. Origami. It's actually very soothing. P.S. If done right otherwise it's frustrating. Good thing there are a lot of easy tutorials available. Baking. So far mostly made crumble pies but planning on making cookies, cinnamon buns, cake, and what other things there might be. It's been really fun so far. I've picked up baking sourdough bread. Purling a fresh loaf out of the oven with a really great oven spring and fantastic color is so satisfying. And then I get to eat it. With some good butter. Nothing else like it. Working myself to death. While the rest of my country seems to be worried about unemployment I'd sell my goddamn soul to only work 40 hours for a week. Would not recommend. Not at all. Anybody want to fix hospital computers for a week so I can sleep? Me too. I have never worked so hard and been so ehausted. We keep getting bonuses and hazard pay, but I just want to sleep. Raspberry Pi or some other single board computer. Good for learning Python programming while doing projects or even learning Linux command line. Uh, set up a Pi hole. Probably best addition you can make to your network. I started having bubble baths with bath bombs every single evening at exactly 23.45pm. It was really nice and relaxing. Then the accident happened and I had to stop. Nothing has been the same ever since the accident. Painting miniatures. Warhammer 40k to be specific. Yes, I'd recommend it. My take on it, mini painting has been around for decades, but started with RPGs like Dungeons and Dragons. To try to get people to paint more, they came up with miniature games where you could field whole armies. Warhammer 40k is basically Starcraft meets Star Wars Expanded Universe and Lord of the Rings depth, all turned up to 11. The painting itself is a fun, creative outlet, and there are tutorials all over sites and YouTube. You can go simple, or get really detailed. You can paint just individual figures and devote a ton of time into it, or paint armies that include hundreds of figures. The lore is insane and a ton of fun. Everything is grimdark. 
depressing, evil, dark, and just wild. There really isn't even a good side. They are all just crazy in different ways. Just to cover the fractions you can play. There is a human fraction. With about 30 major sub-fractions including 18 space marines fractions. And countless sub-fractions. Cyborgs from Mars. Battle priestesses. Think murder nuns. And various normal human armies fashioned after World War 1 trench warfare. World War 2. Vietnam commandos. Etc. Chaos humans. Which are basically humans who have mutated after worshipping the chaos gods. There are elves, good, bad, and evil clown types. Orcs who are actually from spores who just get off on constant war. Tyranids, zerg, aliens who fight in Gundam style mech. And, essentially Terminator robots that are also zombies. They have been churning out books, comics, games and figures for 30 plus years now, so the lore depths rivals other series like Marvel or Star Wars expanded pretty well. Suggested subs, are mini painting, mini painting in general, D&D, WH40K, WHAOS, Warhammer 40K, minis specific to WH40K, Warhammer, minis specific to WH40K or AOS, R Grimdank, memes and shit posting, R slash 40 claw, the lore behind the 40k game. I took up shooting firearms. Absolutely love it. I have a nice selection of pistols now and have been going to the local range for practice. I've been surprised at how good I am. Thinking about competitive shooting, it gives me a great feeling to know I can protect myself if the need arises. I'm doing something that not many old women do is so empowering. I love target shooting. It made me realize how much we move just from breathing and our heartbeat. I've been more introspective and in trying to understand why I feel the way I do in situations. That and I've been trying to learn sign language. Learning another language through Duolingo. I'm not fluent by any means. But I've been learning Chinese and the app is free. So I see no downside to be honest. Fishing. A cheap rod and some maggots and a chair is all that's needed. Mountain biking because I sold my dirt bike. Too many areas are no go for dirt bikes with extremely heavy fines. I've found out I really enjoy cooking baking and when things turn out good then it's even better. I also applied to culinary school. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.